So now let's see how to mask out layers inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So first of all, I'm going to go over here and take a circle and I'm going to create a new drawing layer. So this is the layer I want to mask out. So I'm just going to draw out a bunch of shapes right over here. Let me just go over here, select different colors right over here. And I also want to uh, fill them out. So I'm just going to go over here on to uh, my paint bucket tool, fill them out with different colors just like this. So there you go, random colors over there. So just like this, this is the layer which I'm going to work with. So what I want to do now is let's say I want to mask this layer out by using another shape like a rectangle where only this part of the uh, image uh, should be shown. So I'm going to go over here and then add in another layer and then I'm going to say drawing and this is going to be our mask layer right here. So I'm just going to add that out over there. So on the mask layer, I'm just going to draw out the shape which I want to mask with. So I just drew it out just like that, as you can see. So this is the layer I'll be using to mask out everything. So I'm just going to keep this aside for a while, just like this. So I'm just going to go around here, select both of this and keep it aside. So now in order to mask, what I need to do is I need to bring in the cutter tool. So in order to bring uh, the cutter tool in uh, Harmony, uh, Toon Boom Harmony Essentials, you can simply click the plus icon right over here. You'll have an option called effects. You can go inside and then bring in the cutter. But I'm using Harmony Premium, so I have to do, follow a bit of a different procedure. So what I need to do is I need to go to the node view. So you have to press the plus icon right over here and then go to the node view right over here. So don't be scared about this view. All you need to do is clean this up, select everything, and then just clean this up. Click on this icon right here, press OK. This is what we want, composite. You don't need to worry about anything else. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press the plus icon again, and then I'm going to go to node library. So I'm just going to pull this out because I need it on the same screen. And then here's the effect that we want, the cutter. So I'm just going to drag in the cutter over here onto the node view and here's the cutter. And once you drag in the cutter, you just click on this output port right here. That is the bottom port. Just hold, click and drag it onto the composite and you'll be able to see the cutter right here. So this is only the process that you follow. The node view and everything is the process that you follow for Toon Boom Harmony. Uh, Premium, but for essentials, it'll just be there right over here under the effects panel right over there. The rest of the process is the same. Now, uh, you can just hide this out because we don't need to worry about them anymore. So now here's the cutter and now I need to keep the cutter in the layer which I want to be masked out. In my case, I want the drawing layer to be masked out. So I'm just going to drag in the cutter over here onto the drawing right over here. And in the cutter, I need to now press the plus icon right over here. And here I just need to drop the layer which I want to mask out of. So this, this is the layer I want to mask out with. That's the rectangular shape. So just drag in the mask onto the cutter and there you go. That has been masked out. You can actually go over here onto the mask and then use the selection and then move it around. And you can see that it actually erases out the drawing right over here. But this is not what we want. So what we actually want is we want the opposite. We want the uh, objects to be visible inside of the square. So what I can do is I can simply go into the cutter right over here and then I can double click on the star like icon and over here you can find the option called inverted. So simply click on that and the cutter has been inverted. So I can go to the mask and then you can see that now I have the cutter and so forth. So you can do this for, you can utilize this for character eye blinks and other things just like that, as you can see. So you can see this line, which is actually going on, which is actually the outline of the shape that is there. So I can just delete that and just work out with the fill. So I can resize this out. I can even animate this out. So I can go over here. I can go around, add in frames. So let's say I'm going to add in some frames right over here. I can animate this out. I can animate the mask out over here. Just animate this out. 
and you can see that this is the sort of the animation that is going on as well and you can do this with any shape and that is how you can use the masking tool inside of Toon Boom Harmony uh, Essentials and the Premium version. So hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe